Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Webull and more specifically, I'm going to answer a question that I've been getting a lot lately, and that is how do you buy stock on Webull? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, it's going to be a really quick video. There's actually not a lot of steps involved, so be sure to stick around to the end of the video. Also, I want to let you know, this is assuming that you've already signed up and been approved for an account with Webull, and also you have funded your Webull account. If you need help with either one of those steps, be sure to go back and watch my other video that describes those in details. But as long as you have both of those steps taken care of on this video, we are going to go ahead and buy some stock in Webull. It's all handled here in the app. It's this blue and white one right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to go ahead and open up my Webull account and it should bring you right here to the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you'd like to buy stock on Webull, first what you want to do is go ahead and click on this little search icon here on the top right. Next, you want to go ahead and type in the symbol of the stock that you would like to buy on Webull. For the purpose of this video, we will buy some Tesla. So let me go ahead and just type in the ticker TSLA. Next, you're going to get a couple of different options. So make sure that you're choosing the correct stock ticker. This one says Tesla, and I know the stock ticker is TSLA. So I'll go ahead and click on that. Next, it's going to show you some historical information about Tesla. As you can see, they've done quite well over the years. But in order to buy stock on Webull, what you want to do is click on this little blue button down here on the bottom left called Trade. Next, you will need to log into the kind of protected portion of the Webull account. So I have my face ID set up. So I'm going to go ahead and log in off screen. Yours might be a password or a thumbprint. Okay, so I went ahead and used my face ID. So now I am authorized to trade on my account. So I'm going to click this trade button once again. Okay, next, this is going to be a very important part of the process when you are buying stock on Webull. First, make sure you're trading the correct stock. So here it says Tesla. Next, it's going to show some historical information along with the current trading price right here. But where you want to look is right here on this portion. You want to click on buy, make sure it's lit up. Otherwise, you're going to be selling stock if you have that particular stock. So as you can see, buy is green, so we're good there. Next, you can choose what type of order type. So this is going to vary depending on your particular strategy. For today, I'm going to do a market order. So let me go ahead and change this from limit. Okay, once you click there, it's going to give you all the different types of orders that you can go ahead and place. Some of these are a little bit more advanced, but today we're using a market order. If you need more explanations on the different types of order types, go back and watch my other video that describes each one in detail. Next, you can go ahead and choose how much stock you would like to buy with Weeble. So you can go ahead and look right here. It says share. You can change that to dollars if you would like to buy fractional shares with Webull. If not, if you want to buy whole shares, make sure to just keep clicking the blue. And as you can see, it swaps back and forth. For today, we're going to buy a fractional share. So I'll make sure that is in US dollars. Next, you get to choose how much in dollars you would like to buy for Tesla. So for the purpose of this video, we will buy $5 worth of Tesla stock on Webull. So you can easily type it in or you can use these little arrows right here and go up by the penny, which might take a while. But we'll just leave that at $5. Also, if you look down here, it's going to show you your buying power. So as you can see, I only have a little bit of money in my Webull account. So you need to make sure that the buying power is available to buy however much stock or US dollars worth of fractional shares. For me, I do have enough to cover the $5. Next, you want to do time and force. Since we're doing a market order, it's usually going to be placed immediately. But if you put a limit, it's going to hold the order until it's filled through the day. And lastly, it's going to give you the estimated shares that I will be buying. So with my me, Easily $5, I will end up with approximately 0 0.00579 shares of Tesla stock on Webull. If all that looks good to you, go ahead and click this green buy button here at the bottom. Next, since I am buying fractional shares of Tesla, it gives you this long disclosure. So feel free to read through that. And if you agree to it, click this I agree button. Okay, once again, it's going to give me this pop up and confirming everything that we just went over. So I'm buying a fractional share of $5. The price is going to be the market price during trading hours. If you don't want to get this order confirmation, in the future, you can go ahead and check that box there. I like to have this just as a second security layer to make sure I am buying the correct stock. If you still want to go ahead and buy stock on Webull, go ahead and click this green confirm button. Okay, next this order screen pops up. It says that I am on the buy side and it lets me know how much I am looking to buy along with how much has currently been filled. So it has not been filled yet. Let me go ahead and refresh. Okay, and as soon as I refresh, then you can see the order was filled. So the order went through almost immediately. I'm not exactly sure why they only purchased just four point, I'm sorry, $4.99 worth on my behalf and not the $5. If you happen to know, be sure to leave a comment below. So now I own $5 worth of Tesla fractional shares. And if you want to see where that order is placed and contained in your account, go ahead and click back. Okay, I'm going to click back one more time. And then it brings you here to the order screen. So I'll click on cancel. Okay, now if you want to see your order, you want to click on these little like bullhorn looking button here on the bottom middle. And then here in this section, it will show your positions. And as you can see right there, mine says, 
says Tesla, market value $4.99. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to buy stock on Webull, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel. And I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.